I'm Davin Henderson. I'm an assistant professor at Colorado State University in the Prion Research Center. I've been working for the last few years to understand how CWD is spread between deer to deer and understanding how to detect CWD in excreta like saliva, urine, and feces. Researchers at CSU have inoculated deer with urine from clinically ill CWD positive deer and none of those deer during the course of the 30 plus month long study got sick with CWD. When we talk about CWD being spread and excreted like urine, saliva, and feces, what I really mean is CWD being spread into an environment by a herd of deer over the course of many years where the environment could eventually get contaminated to the point where it may be dangerous for other deer. It's not really talking about a small amount of urine being inoculated into one specific deer. Based on inoculation studies with deer, I think it would take between 100 and 500 milliliters of deer urine from a clinically ill deer to get another deer sick. That's between three and 18 one ounce bottles of deer urine swallowed directly by one deer. Based on the way these products are used, where a small amount is sprinkled on the ground or a little bit is put on a wick, that makes the spread of CWD through the use of these products nearly impossible. I was impressed with the self-imposed deer protection program standards scent manufacturers like Tinks have adopted to protect their products from chronic wasting disease. On top of being active in USDA herd certification programs, the herds that they source their products from are banned from import of new animals and are also required to be double fenced when in close proximity to CWD positive herds in the wild. Additionally, the major scent manufacturers source their products from only 11 farms, which represents approximately 95% of the retail market for deer scent products. I've spent a long time researching CDBD and detecting CDBD in excreta like saliva, urine, and feces. And what I could tell you is the levels we detect in urine are very low, much lower than tissues and much, much lower than brain, up to 100,000 fold to a million fold lower. Based on the low levels of CWD prions found in urine and the extra precautions taken by ATA certified producers like Tinks to make sure their products are CWD free, I don't think the use of deer urine lures poses a risk for the spread of CWD.